pretty clean. Um, it looks very nice. Uh, drifts very well as well. And it is running a full rotor. So if you want to check that out, do go check that out. Um, it's a very nice car. So first thing first, on Friday um, is the deadline for the giveaway. So if you haven't checked out the giveaway, go back through my videos. Uh, there's a video with the giveaway with the, the links in the description. Go check that out. Um, you have a chance to win a graphics card and uh, what should we call it? An Xbox Live membership. Um, and the other thing, on this video, um, comment what car you want to see next episode. Because uh, obviously, we've got a lot of comments coming in and you know, you're not always going to get picked. I do, I do apologise if you don't get picked. Um, but the one with the most votes up will get picked. So if you do see a comment that you like the look of, like say someone just says an S13, and you like you like the, the sound of it, uh, just thumbs that up. And yeah, the most thumbed up uh, comment will be chosen. So on to the next car. Uh, let me just get the comment up. It is from Righty95. It's a Dodge Dart stock look and stock colour. Something different, get a muscle car in there. And I do agree, uh, it's just been JDM uh, non stop. So to get a nice uh, uh, muscle car in here will be very interesting. So let's grab the car and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so there's the Dodge Dart Hemi Super Stock. Um, there is a newer version of the Dart, I'm sure of it. Um, if someone if someone can um, correct me here, but I'm sure on the old forces there was a newer version of the Dodge Dart. Um, I think it's a bit longer, um, but yeah, I was trying to look for that, and then this didn't catch my eye, but then I saw Dodge Dart Hemi, it looks very nice, it looks a very nice muscle car to be fair, it looks quite old school, um, it looks wicked, so let's get this sliding, and let's get this buy-in, so we want this stock, um, stock colour, and stock everything, like, apart from, like, upgrades, but, yeah, let's go, um, obviously, we want the stock colours, so, stock, is going on this bad boy. 225,000 credits for this car. That is a lot of credits. Um, but it does look like it's worth it. This car looks absolutely amazing. Uh, the visuals of it, they do go in to be fair. Um, so let's leave the auto show. Yeah, we want to get into the garage. We want to start upgrading this, this, this whip. We want to upgrade our whip. Okay, here we go. <laughs> How can I help? <laughs> Alright, custom upgrade. Here we are. Um, stock engine. I'm going to stick with the stock engine. Um, I don't know what it actually has as stock. Um, but I'm sure it's a, a muscle car. It's got to be like a V8 of some kind. Uh, but so uh, someone can correct me there. Um, but yeah, let, let's stick with the stock engine. And onto the drivetrain. We won't change that because it is already rear wheel drive. Aspiration. It's got no aspiration as stock, so... We could twin turbo it, but in terms of power, we're already at 425 horsepower. So I don't really feel the need to do that. Okay, on to bumpers. Um, I don't think I'll be doing any of these. Uh, we could do a bonnet. Let's see what these are. Okay. Okay. Really prefer that bonnet, to be fair. I prefer the looks of it. Uh, these two aren't really to my taste, so I'm going to stick with the stock bonnet as well. Okay, onto the tyres. I'm going to stick with a stock tyre compound. Front width, we're going to go up to 245s on the front. And on the rears, we are going to go... Wow, you could get very wide on the rears. Uh, rears? <laughs> very wide on the rears. Um, let's go only 265s on the rear. We want to get as much tyre spin as we can. Um, it seems to me, on this game... Tire spin seems to benefit me more than anything, so I don't see why I should change that. Um, let's go with these. Uh, they suit the car. ATS Classics. Um, they I had them in my mind since I started this build, uh, so I was always going to choose them. Uh, when we get the suspension on here, should be a lot better. Let's go up to 17s. Uh, it doesn't look too big, but it doesn't look too small either. Um, so 17... Should we go 18s on the rear? Or should we stick eight, uh, 17s all around? I don't know. Hmm. No, let, let's go 17. Oh, let's go 17s on the rear as well. Um, I think they do have an upgraded um, rim size as stock, like one bigger in the rear, but I don't know. Let's go. Oh, I pressed it again. 
Let's go. <laughs> Let's go 17s in the rear. There we go. Okay, so that is all the tyres, etc. done. Um, onto the drivetrain. Everything in here will be race. So just head, head along and do every upgrade as race in here. Uh, but yeah, the visuals of this car look absolutely amazing. It looks absolute monster. It looks like a really old school muscle car. And uh, seeing as it's from 1968, it's pretty old school. So it fits the bill very nice. A nice addition to the garage, I think. And once we get this tuned and varying, it'll be a nice car to pull out, I think. Uh, so onto platform and handling, we want race brakes, we want to stop the car, obviously. Um, race suspension, that's made it look a lot better. And it's not as many, not as much lows as I think thought it was going to be. Um, looking at that rear rim right now, I think that we're going to have to go back and make it one size bigger. It just doesn't look right. Um, so if we go 18s on the rear for the rim size, um, I'm sure that will be fine. Yeah, that looks better. It looks a lot better. Okay. Back onto platform and handling. Anti-roll bars. We want race anti-roll bars. Um, not a very heavy car for what it is. Only 1,000 kilos at the moment. Uh, once we do race weight reduction, it should uh, take it right down as well. So 1,400 kilos, actually. Um, so, yeah, down to 1,200 kilos from that one upgrade, uh, which is sick. I love how you can see the exhaust from, this, from the side here. Nice visual there. Um, but, yeah, onto the engine. Uh, as soon as we've, we have got 1,200 kilos, it is quite a heavy car, so I'm thinking around the 500 horsepower mark would be about about good for this car. Um, a little bit more would maybe push it a bit too far. Uh, but yeah, you can push it further if you want. Um, it's just my decision to keep it at this horsepower. Uh, I'd rather have a car I could control and try and tandem and get some nice tyre spin out of this uh, out of this power and you've got nice um, obviously 500 horsepower that is a lot of power um, you don't really need much more to be honest uh, so yeah I just talked absolute shit then uh, I do apologize and I'm, I'm in that mode again when I can't speak uh, I've been like it for a couple of days now I just can't speak so on to that uh, we'll put in the sport canton valves 507 horsepower I think that's gonna be about about spot on so that's that. Let's jump out into free row. See how the car is feeling with the stock tune. Um, sure, it'll be fine, seeing as it is a muscle car. Uh, my Dodge Charger from 1969. Um, it, I don't think I even changed the tune because um, that car just felt okay. We've already crashed. That car just felt absolutely hallelujah. Okay, I don't want to drift around here. I, I could, what is my seat doing? All right. <laughs> I don't want to drift around here, so let's go over this way. Let's teleport to the industrial area. Get some nice lines going down the industrial area. Um, might do the dissection to be fair. Um, seeing as I do do this section a lot online, it'll be nice to tune the car to this section. Uh, but yeah, that car's looking absolutely sweet. Okay. I have to get used to this. this is a very very long car. I'm gonna have to get used to that. Oh, that wall tap though. That was sick. Okay, so it's got enough power. It absolutely rinsed away then. It feels a bit like a boat. <laughs> Not gonna lie. <laughs> Oh, need some more grip in the rear. Uh, pulled it back, kind of though. <laughs> no one saw that. It's fine. Okay, it does feel pretty stable though, but I think it's because of the long wheelbase. Obviously, it's going to be a very stable car. It's going to be a little bit slow in transitions, but you come to expect that with a very long wheelbase car. Um, and a very long car, to be fair. Look how long this car is. I can't even see the front. Where is it? Okay, so that was that felt okay. It needs some more grip in the rear, though. I will say that it needs a little bit more camber as well. There's just not enough tire spin in here. So let's go put the normal bass tune I put onto every single car. Normally this bass um, this bass tune. Oh my god, what have I done? Normally this bass tune hits the spot on Horizon 2. I don't know what it is about this bass tune. You don't really need to adjust it too much. You just have to do that like, tire pressures and camber just to get that 
that tire spin you like. So let's down the tire pressure. Um, in the rear, I'm just thinking a little bit. I'm not going too far on that. Um, gearing, we could go to acceleration a tiny bit, but the gearing seems about fine. Okay, camber in the rear. No wonder it's quite grippy because there's no actual camber in the rear. Um, so let's just take these up just a smidgen, see how that feels. Okay, 5.5 .5 cast on the front. Uh, let's bring up the rear just a tiny bit, just to kind of counteract the front. Um, I like my springs quite stiff, so I'm going to go and up, up this a lot. So let's go up to about here. That should be plenty, plenty stiffy, stiffy. Okay. <laughs> okay, ride height all the way to the bottom. Damping. Pretty stiff already, to be fair, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stiffen it a little bit more. Um, bump stiffness is about fine. A little bit softer in the rear. Okay, differential if we make this 100, 100. Um, this base tune, um, I put it onto all the cars just to start off, uh, but it does feel very nice normally, so... Let's get going. Let's throw this into this corner and see see what happens. Huh? Oh, that was my fault. Oh, I threw it in too much. I thought I'd try and see um, how much this car could handle. Uh, but maybe it, there's a certain point on this car and it might just not have it. But, you know, I don't really know what to think then. Uh, it's, it's a little bit weird, this car. Um, I'm thinking more grip um, in the rear, definitely. Uh, the front see, seems absolutely fine. I'm going to take the front down a tiny bit, though. Okay, let's just go 28-28. See how that does. Only a minor adjustment here, but I just want to see if I can get that little bit more grip I do need. Okay, it doesn't seem to be as harsh in the transitions this time. Uh, feels a lot grippier in the front. That's good. Let's just bring it home. Through the gap. And that felt pretty sweet to be fair. That was a good adjustment there. Um, let's give it another run. See what we can think. Uh, see what we... See if we can find anything. Um, here comes the rain once again. Okay, okay. It's going to get a little bit slippier now, seeing as the rain is coming. Uh, so I'm going to have to be on my toes here. Even though I'm sat down. Yeah, buddy. That feels pretty sick. Uh, the long wheelbase and the grip we have in the tyres now, that is a good combination. Uh, we've got enough power, it just pulls out of corners. Uh, the gearing is absolutely amazing. Uh, let's give it another run. If we do find something that we can adjust, we can do it. But to be honest, I think this is pretty spot on right now. Um, but yeah, the, these car builds, um, they're not really in depth. They're just really bass tuned. Um, you can adjust these tunes more to your requirements. Like if you like tire spin a little bit more, take those tire pressures up. Um, take the camber up uh, to, more to negative. Sorry, um, but this is just a pretty much a base tune that should should work for everyone. It works for me, and I don't think I'm going to be changing this tune anyway. Uh, it feels absolutely spot on. Look at that wall tap. That was nice. So yeah, that's feeling absolutely. Wicked, um, so I don't think I'm going to change this now.